Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you have not been here before, my name is Carmela, and today, as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm just gonna be going over my experience as my first day as a substitute teacher. And towards the end, I think I'll go over my general tips and advice on being a substitute teacher. I'm gonna go ahead and get into it. It is almost nine o'clock and I am just preparing. Like I think I'm gonna take a shower right now because I'm not a morning person and I'm regretting this so bad. I even made my breakfast. I boiled some egg. Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and take a shower, go to sleep, and then I will see you guys when I wake up in three, two, one. Good morning, hello, hi. It is six o'clock. Um, I've been awake since five. I've honestly just been waking up like every 20 minutes, every 30 minutes, like thinking it's time or just so excited. Like I've already had dreams about it and figured I might as well wake up and make it reality because we're doing this thing. I'm going to eat my eggs and I think I'm just going to go early. So let's go. Okay, so I am in the classroom. It's been so long since I've been in a classroom. Um, so lesson plans were given, I think. It is, okay, we're, we're in business. So left a lesson plan, I have all the attendance sheets. So I've gotten through four periods. Um, I have, I think two more, and then they have lunch, or one more, and then they have lunch. Uh, your girl is starving, but they're honestly not giving me any problems. Um, the first period was kind of wild, but I got through it because like, I feel like I didn't really introduce my expectations at the beginning, even though I knew to do that. So the other periods after the first have just flown by really easy. I'm tired. Most of you guys know this, but I work from home, so I'm not used to standing this long. Like I'm fine, but my feet kind of creep cramping. Creep cramping. Keep cramping. It's lunchtime. Uh, I think I have seventh and eighth period after this, but right now I need to eat. So I'm gonna do that. So this morning I ate my yogurt and my boiled eggs. And now I have my cheese, my almonds, my cranberries. And then I made a tuna sandwich. I didn't feel like leaving because I don't know how the parking is and leaving and coming back. And obviously don't want to be late. Um, and then I brought some chips. I feel like a child with chips and sandwich. But it's actually really good. I'm gonna do that, watch some Netflix, and I will talk to you guys soon. So the students got out about 20 minutes ago. I took the time to clean the room. It is clean. And I wrote a note for the teacher saying which students were good, which students weren't, which classes were good, which were most of them. But some students did give me a little bit of problems, but I did mention that. Um, yeah, so I am done. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little vlog type ish video. I do have experience. I have worked in an elementary school classroom for over a year. It was an after school program. So um, obviously I do want to be a teacher. So now I am substituting. Hey guys, I recorded my intro yesterday and I had made this whole video and it came out super long and I edited it. It took about a couple hours and I didn't like it because it was about 20 minutes and I would not watch a 20 minute video, so I'm not gonna make you guys watch a 20 minute video. Not saying that you would. Okay, so I'm gonna re-record this. Here we go. I'm just gonna go over some brief tips that will help you, that helped me, because the other day when I substituted, my first period was a mess. I had to take roll like three times, and it was hard to pay attention to the attendance and the seating chart at the same time. So I'm gonna tell you guys what helped me and then just some general rules to get your day going smoothly in every classroom if you're in junior high or high school. Um, also for elementary, I guess, I haven't been able to substitute for an elementary class, but I have worked in an elementary class before, so I do have experience. So tip number one would just to be confident. Just make sure you know that you're worthy of being in this classroom. So make sure you guys project that energy. Make sure you know that you are in charge, that you tell them when they can 
and can't do things, um, how loud you want your classroom to be. So just be confident. Don't be afraid to tell them something like stay on track, uh, do your work or quiet down. You are in charge for the day. They're looking to you for guidance on everything that they are going to do in that day. Tip number two would just to be patient. Be patient because you're not gonna know everything. You're gonna have some struggles, but definitely be patient. And that kind of leads me on to like tip number three, I guess. If you need to take attendance and also look at a seating chart, make sure you do it slowly. You don't have to be Speedy Gonzalez and you don't have to do everything super quick. This generally is for junior high because with my experience, I was finding it very hard to see who sits where and who's here and who's not. So I would just look at the list, go over to the seating chart and look at them. If they sit here, I would look at them, look at their seating chart, count their desk over and make sure they're in their seating chart. So that's what definitely helped me and hopefully can help you too. Tip number four would just be to fake it till you make it. And this can be um, with anything. Pretend you're confident if you're really not, if you're very shy and you're really reserved and you don't really know how to talk to students. Fake it until you make it. What I also could say was when I substituted, I said to the students, I said, good morning class, my name is Miss Lopez. I spoke to your teacher and I will be speaking to her later because we are good friends. So I will just be informing her on the day that we have. Hopefully it was a good day. We're gonna get started in our activity today and let's see how it goes. And this just kind of tells them like, I know what I'm doing. I am going to be leaving a note for the teacher or I am going to be talking to their teacher. So that can help you guys just say that you're a friend or that you know the person that you're substituting for. Just lie. <laughs> Tip number five, set your expectations at the very beginning of the day because this is something that I had to experience firsthand because I had watched other YouTube videos and all of them said to set expectations. So I knew to do that and I didn't my first period. So it was a little bit of a problem because students were getting up, um, not for no reason, they were getting their books and getting sharpening their pencils and it was just too much because there were so many students up at once, it's hard to focus. So set expectations in the very beginning. So what I did after the period that gave me a certain problem with getting up is at the very beginning, I would say, besides the fact that I knew their teacher, I would say, if you guys need anything, if you need to get a drink of water, if you need a pencil, if you need to throw away trash, raise your hand because if you get up without asking, I'm just gonna make you go back to your seat, you're gonna have to get up again and that's just making two trips and you don't wanna do that. So save yourself the time, save me the time of telling you that you need to go back to your seat and just raise your hand and we won't have a problem. That's definitely helpful because they know not to get up and you can handle one student at a time that needs something or wants to get up, go to the bathroom, get water, whatever it may be. Tip number six, it would be just to get there early. I had gone here a whole hour early. The registrar's office wasn't even open. That just gives you a chance to go over lesson plans. If lesson plans weren't given, it gives you a chance to come up with an alternative. So definitely just get there early. Tip number seven, because you're not gonna know all your students' names immediately, what I would suggest is to make an attention grabber. And attention grabbers are very popular in elementary and kindergarten, but they can be useful in maybe junior high. It's kind of pushing it. Um, high school, I wouldn't even bother. Uh, <laughs> and attention grabbers are very easy to make when I was working in an elementary school. My attention grabber was, I would say, all set, very loud, and students would reply, you bet. So it's all set, you bet. And for the junior high class that I substituted for, I just made it very simple. I didn't want it cringy. I didn't want them laughing. All I did was I clapped and they would have to clap back. Like clap back, you know? So it was just, and then they would reply. And sometimes I would switch it up. I would clap five times maybe, and they would have to reply five times. So then they like start paying attention and they're trying to keep up with you. But I just use this attention grabber if it was just getting too loud. If they're talking too much, say you guys are having a class discussion and it's just getting too loud, you just bring back focus by that attention grabber. It's really up to you. There's all kinds of creative ones out there. 
that's just a tip from me to you. And as you guys can see, I am in the classroom today. So these tips obviously helped me and they can help you too. I thank you guys so much for watching, taking the time out of your day to see how my vlog went. I also want to thank everybody who was messaging me that after my first day because I was so tired. I got home and I was exhausted. I will throw in a clip here. I'm so tired. I came home and it took like an hour nap. I was still asleep, but I have plans. Ugh. So I was super tired. It was a very good day. I, I loved it. It didn't even feel like work and it never does. Like I'm here right now and I completely forget that I'm getting paid for this. So I do want to be an elementary school teacher, but for now, I guess I am substituting in junior high and hopefully I get an elementary job soon for substituting, obviously. Um, I would like to compare the difference because I really did like junior high, but I definitely think that I am meant to work in an elementary class one day. So stay tuned. Maybe we'll come out with another video, maybe tips that I run into in the classroom. Thank you for watching and hopefully you guys will see me soon in another video pretty soon. Okay, bye. <laughs>